join? All right, we are recording, so thank you for joining us. Um, I am super pumped to share what I learned at Diamond Bound. Uh, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it because it did something inside of me that I can't even can't even describe. So, first of all, I'll tell you what I expected that tonight would look like. I expected that I would give you an overview of the event, and I expected that I would give you all of the overview key principles that I learned. Um, hold on a second. I just realized I have my radio one um the key principles that i learned well what i found out when i got to diamond bound is that there were actually there were 22 speakers over the course of two and a half days it was from morning to evening intense strategy um so there's no way that i can share it all here in 30 minutes which is my goal to keep this under 30 minutes to respect you guys this time um that's kind of what I expect. So instead, my plan is to get us all kind of facing in the same direction and to build a pipeline. Uh, that was one of the key things that they taught us when we were at Diamond Bound is um, they told us a story of two different men and they both wanted a job um, giving, giving – oh, hold on one second. I'm going to mute, mute all you guys. Um, Hold on one minute. I'm getting some background. There we go. All right. Anyway, um, they, there were two men, and they both wanted a job delivering water to the city. And one of the men were using buckets, and he was taking buckets of water up to the city. And he had to develop a put a lid on and figure out how he was going to get all the water up without spilling it over. And they said he was an entrepreneur and he did a great thing. He was an entrepreneur. He helped a lot of people. And then there was another man. And before he even started, he built a strategy. He found different people that had different expertise and they ended up building a pipeline and the pipeline would take the water right there, which made, obviously it made the whole system easier. Uh, the entrepreneur that carried buckets, he was successful. He continued that and it worked um the guy that built the pipeline ended up building pipelines all around the world so um if our passion is to reach the world with essential oils then um building a pipeline is really what my desire is for the team that we'll be able to just go out and reach so um that's kind of my goal i'm just going to give you an overview and then i'm also going to equip you i have something at the end that will equip you and we can work together i'll let you know what that is um but first i'll tell you a little bit about what diamond bound was and what it was for me i found out about diamond bound a little over a year ago and i don't know if you've experienced this before but i felt very strongly that god told me bobby you need to be there and it was in Chicago. I'm not a city girl. Um, I reached out to many people, trying to get people to come to me, come with me, and nothing. And so I just thought, okay, never mind. I'm not going to go. And a few months later, I felt God say, "You need to be at this." And so I reached out to a bunch of people again, and no one could come. Um, that I had talked to and I had posted on our Facebook page and there no nobody and so this happened about six times maybe over the course of the year and um, I was like well Lord maybe it wasn't you maybe it was maybe it was me like maybe I was just thinking I needed to go because I look cool I like you know um, and I had a few leaders that said that they felt like God told them not to go this particular year and obviously you listen to God's call so it really started to make me doubt, but inside I knew that God had called me to this event. Um, I ended up about a month before finding some people cross line that were going and I went with them. And that's one of the really cool things um, about Young Living is working together cross line. And uh, so one of the big key, key points for tonight is um, 
be open to work together cross sign because we were brainstorming with other te- you know other teams in the car in the hotel room while traveling and that really helps us to establish systems and it's a beautiful thing um so anyway i had a lot of fear especially this week coming up to diamond bound honestly if i'm honest with you uh again i'm not really a city girl i knew that there were going to be a lot of people there there um the event was like 4,000 people there was a marathon in chicago that weekend there was a huge trial that weekend that um they were actually expecting um, riots and they told a bunch of businesses around us to close down. So everything inside of me honestly wanted to get scared and quit. But, um, but I went and praise God that I went because it was life changing and God hit me on the head like a lightning bolt um, with what my mission is. If you guys want to know more about that, let me know and I'd be happy to share my story in that regards and how that happened. But, um, so that's a big thing in this journey. There's going to be times when it gets hard. It's going to, there might be times when you feel alone. Um, we are always here. I want you to know I am always here for you and not only me, but our leaders, our cross line, we are, you're not alone. Um, and we are here for you. So reach out to us and step out of your comfort zone and do it, do it scared. Um, because it that's really out of the comfort zone is where the magic happens. And so um, if you don't have a pen and paper, I'd encourage you to get one because um, I do have some key things coming up here. But um, so a little bit about Diamond Bound. It was really awesome. I believe there were between four and 5,000 people there. Uh, Mary Young was there. Jared Turner was there. Um, there were 22 speakers, all but one, I believe, were Royal Crown Diamonds. And so it was a powerful event. On Friday night, they had a a gala where we all dressed up and they fed us a meal. And then the speakers, after the meal, the speakers started. And um, all weekend speaking, they had, they had, um, Lucy Libido was like hanging from a rope and dancing and um, they had dance competitions. They had all kinds of fun, fun, fun things. So it was a really, great and inspiring um weekend it really um so diamond bound really focuses on um the mindset that you need to have to reach diamond and beyond and also the strategy behind how to get there so um and each each of the 22 speakers took a different topic um to teach us how to get there so um your first thing that we talked about was know your why. For me, when I went to Diamond Bound, my why was because I knew God told me to. I didn't really know why I was going, but I've told people for about a year that I knew I was supposed to be there. Um, for me, knowing that God wanted me there was a big enough why to get me to Diamond Bound. Um, but as for us, as we travel to become diamonds, know what your why is and um, take some time to really think about what that why is uh, because everyone's is gonna look different. For some of you, it's gonna be, I wanna be home with my children. What will it look like when I'm able to stay home with my children, when I'm able to um, travel all over the world? I've never been able to travel before. What will it look like when I'm able to travel all over the world? What will it look like if I have enough of an income to get my products, whatever I want, and have it paid for? What will it look like if I have an extra $200, $400 coming in a month that I can put towards my car payment or my house payment? Uh, What will it look like if I have $2,000 a month? You can kind of go up that um, income disclosure statement and really write down what would that look like for you? For everybody, it's gonna look different. There's gonna be a different motivation. Um, But what will that look like for you? And don't stop there, right? What will that feel like? Because it's the feeling that's going to drive the action. And so really writing down what will that feel like when you have that freedom? What will that mean for your kids, your grandchildren, your friends? 
Um, and with that goal also, um, I would challenge you to write down if you, if times get hard and you decide to stop and you don't get there, what will that look like in your life? What will that mean for your children, your grandchildren? And what will that feel like? Because it's that the pain and the pleasure is what's really going to give us the strength to push through when it's hard. Um, this business is the most fun business I have ever done. And in many ways, it's easy in the sense that I believe everyone can do this. Um, but it's not easy in the sense that we have to be diligent, we have to be consistent, and we have to be out of our comfort zone every day. Um, being out of the comfort zone is scary. What I've learned is that that's where I have to depend on God. And so I've gotten to a point, I still like, like my comfort zone, but I'm also learning to love being out of the comfort zone where I have to be in total dependence um, on my Lord. And so um, just think about what that would look like for you. Um, uh, the basic business cycle, I'm just going to give you the real basics and then I'm going to tell you how for free and how together um, we can get all the fine details that I got this weekend. So um, the basic business cycle that we all need to know and we need to be teaching people, number one, we need to enroll. Enroll people and think about if your upline didn't ever allow you the chance to say yes, you wouldn't be where you're at right now. If, if that person that shared with you never, never gave you the chance to say yes, then, you know, for some of you, you wouldn't be healthy. You know, those of you that have huge testimonies with that, for some of you, you would still be having a house full of toxins. For some of you, um, you would still be working when I know um, Heather used to have um, an income daycare and now she doesn't have to have that. So when you're inviting and when you're um, enrolling people, uh, one of the ways that I've used to get over my fear um, is it's like being a waitress and a waitress comes around and they say, would you like some water? Would you like some coffee? Um, when you say no to that waitress, she's not offended. She was just doing her job and offering you. And if she didn't come around, we would say she wasn't a very good, she wasn't really doing her job. She wasn't a very good waitress. I think my tip might be a little lower today. Um, so I want to be that waitress that gives the best service everyone around me, um, not just my customers, not just my members, but my friends and my family. So giving people the opportunity to say yes. They say no, that's okay. Um, and honestly, usually the no means not right now. But um, don't take the no as rejection, but just remember, give them the opportunity to say yes, because if nobody gave you that opportunity, um, you wouldn't be where you are right now. Um, so number two is follow up. One of the keys that I've learned about follow up is um, make it really easy from the beginning to follow up later on is to set that um, set the plan with them. So if you enroll somebody and you don't, you're like, oh, here's your kit. Later on, when you go to call them, it's a little, it can be a little awkward and uncomfortable. Um, but for that follow-up, when you sign them up, say, I'm going to call you in you know, one week, two weeks, whatever it is, just to check up on how you're doing with your oils, what questions you have, how I can serve you. Um, so then you don't have that uncomfortable awkwardness of, yeah, she's calling, she just wants something. They know up front that you're calling to serve them and to help them. And so implementing that, like moving forward and teaching our leaders, um, our new members to do the same thing for the people that they enroll, uh, will be powerful. It will break that fear cycle that so many people in network marketing have um, of, re of delivering optimal customer service. 
I'll tell you for me years ago, I uh, was not doing this as a business, but I was sharing. I did enroll some people here and there. And um, about five and a half years into it, when I felt that moral obligation to share the business, I realized that I did a lot of people a disservice because I never called them because I didn't want, didn't want to bug them. I felt like I was bugging them. And what I realized is that I had signed them up and I left them hanging. And so I had to make, I chose to make a lot of phone calls and apologize for not being there for them. And so you might be in that situation where it's like, you know what, I've been in this for five years, I've signed people up and I've never talked to them again. It's okay. Um, the best way to take that awkwardness out um, is when you call them, just say, I realized that I signed you up and I haven't been here. I just learned the importance of whatever and I wanna be here. I wanna let you know that I'm here for you moving forward. And, um, and then just starting that fresh slate of scheduling times when they know you're going to call to serve them uh, is great. Uh, number three of the business cycle is getting people on the sense rewards. What we know is that oils are powerful. Um, oils will greatly impact a life. Um, but if you continue a lifestyle of toxins and starving your body, you're not going to change you're not going to radically change a life. Yes, we have radical um, testimonies about frankincense. Yes, we have radical testimonies about different, um, you know, like the pain cream, things like that. But if we really, really wanna make a difference in the people that we're serving, we need to get them on essential rewards. Um, I tell people, if you have a burn, you can treat the burn with whatever the doctor gives you, but if you don't take your hand off the stove, you're never gonna get well. So we have to be educating people about toxins and getting thieves cleaner into their hands as fast as possible. Um, thieves cleaners, they're gonna save money. Who doesn't wanna save money? It's like 69 cents a bottle. Um, who doesn't wanna save money when it really comes down to it? Who doesn't wanna get rid of toxins? A lot of people don't know they want to, um, but when we educate them, they'll learn that. So um, saving money and getting rid of toxins and also um, helping them to see the value of the supplements because uh, feeding their body and nourishing their body is going to allow their body to heal itself, uh, especially when we get the hand off the stove. And that is when we are going to make a radical difference in the lives of the people around us. And I don't know about you guys, but that's my goal. Like, I don't just want to sell an oil. I want to change a life. And so it really is a big picture. And so getting people on essential rewards as soon as possible is what's going to help change their life. And so that's the third part of the um, business cycle. And the fourth part is to duplicate. And what that means is it's kind of like uh, back to the pipeline that one guy was carrying up buckets. And it took him a long time. With the pipeline, there were many people and they all had different gifts and talents and they worked together in their area of strength. We wanna help our leaders work in their area of strength. And um, instead of addition, uh, our teams will grow by multiplication. And that's really where the magic happens. Um, and so that is the basic business cycle that we wanna teach people and that we wanna implement ourselves. Uh, so there are some key principles with that. Uh, one, you've got to be finding leaders and training them. One of the best ways to do that, you know, I had always told people, and this is what I've always done, is I have become a good listener. People like to tell you their problems. People like to tell you their challenges. And um, as you listen, You'll hear the needs and then think about how our products, our opportunity could fill that need, okay? So I was doing that and that was amazing. But what I learned this weekend is I need to take it a step further and show people their needs and help to vision cast with them what would their life look like if... Um, 
So uh, that is one is find leaders, find people who want to make an impact, find people who want to be a part of something bigger than themselves. Uh, find people that uh, have struggles with finances, um, want more freedom. Maybe they want to be home with their family. Maybe they um, are you know, you know, struggling with balance between work and family, and this is a way that they can, we can help them. So uh, number two, teach classes regularly, regularly. These sporadic classes um, are good. Consistent classes are better. Um, and it's that consistency that people learn to trust and respect you for. So, um, and if you really want to grow fast, um, momentum is your friend. We want to get momentum with us. Eric Ward describes it like an airplane. An airplane, he has to go full, full throttle to get that airplane up in the air. And then he can kind of take his foot off the pedal and you know, it kind of keeps it up there. But if he doesn't give it full throttle at the beginning, he won't get to the destination and it's going to be really, really hard on the way. And so uh, moment, getting momentum on our side, so especially at the beginning. Um, so consistent classes are key, but one of the things that they said is um, having a season of hustle is crucial to growth. So if you're not having seasons of, it ha doesn't have to be long, but having like, um, they recommended 90 days, but whether it's 30, 60, 90 days, whatever, but having those seasons of hustle where you're doing a lot um, that is best and that's going to get you get you rolling and then get momentum on your side because momentum is a huge huge benefit um, and so then number three is to intentionally share every single day decide how many that's going to be um, keep it low enough where you can be consistent with it so um, sometimes we set it really high and then we don't meet it and then we get frustrated and we quit so we want to um, intentionally share every day and we want to be able to keep up with that so pick a number that is doable for you um, so building a strategy uh, the surprise I have for you guys is that I went to diamond bound and they actually had diamond bound on an mp3 and she got up on stage and she told us that if you purchase this you can share it with your entire team and they can learn everything that you learned at Diamond Bound. So I purchased the MP3. Actually, I later learned that somebody in our upline purchased it, so I probably wouldn't have had to, um, but I don't care because this event was so amazing. Even if it was just a donation to uh, Jordan, it was worth it. So, um, but anyway, so I have the MP3. They haven't sent it to me, I'm still waiting for it, but when that comes, I will share it with, I'm not just gonna randomly throw it out there, um, but this is what I, this is who I would like to share with, with people who are willing to commit to, um, on the Team Transforming Lives page. Um, first of all, I wanna make sure that if I send this out that people are gonna listen to it. So if you're willing to listen to it, and um, share things on the Team Transforming Lives page, whether it's um, comments or videos or whatever, with things that you learn along the way. Um, that would be awesome. I'm looking for ways, uh, a lot of times, no, not a lot of times, all the time. <laughs> There's no such thing as a hometown expert. So uh, you guys have friends, you have family, I have friends, I have family, I have team members, that um, what I say may not speak to certain people, but what they hear from you, um, Jeannie or Jennifer or Deborah, whoever, whoever it is, different people are going to hear better from different people, and um, so and different viewpoints. So my my I don't know desire I guess is that if I send this um, diamond bound MP3 out to you guys that over the course of the next 90 days, you will commit to occasionally posting um, Facebook videos or posts on what you learned going through this, 
and also um, videos and posts about any products that you have tried or loved. Um, also questions that you have are welcomed on that page as well. And then the other thing that I would like uh, a commitment to is for the next 90 days, um, committing to teaching regular classes. Because um, every ounce of me based on my temperament is, uh, for those of you that know colors, I'm yellow. And so every ounce of me wants to say, well, I know it's hard and you know, if you have the time, this would be a good thing. But I also know that as a leader and as part of your support system, that if I don't tell you that if you want, if you want this, you've got to teach classes. If you want this, you have to go out of your comfort zone. And if you want this, and if you do those things, it will not only change your life, but it will change the lives of the people around you um, for generations to come. And so knowing that, um, I also know that we need to push each other. I would like to be pushed. So I would love to have accountability from you guys to push me. Um, I'm kind of, I'm using, I decided that I'm going into hustle mode right now because this is the best time of the year for network marketing. Um, year after year after year, we've seen that uh, generally um, September, October, November, December, um, November is like the best, but those are the months um, that generally have the most rapid growth in network marketing. So we wanna take advantage of that and get some momentum. So I have committed myself to make this a hustle season for me. So for the next 90 days, I am going to be really pushing. Um, I've discovered that um, how do I, I'm trying to, I don't want to give you my, my whole story. Um, I mean, I will if you ask me personally. Um, I'd be happy to share it um, of what God did for me. But um, uh, one of the scripture verses says, ask and I'll give the nations to you. And, and I've asked that for many, many, many years. Um, God gave me 11 years ago on living as a door to a greater mission. and. Um, Sunday, as I sat in worship service, I kid you not, I was sobbing like a baby. Um, you probably saw me on the, I like looked like a clown. <laughs> uh, but it was like a lightning bolt. God gave me a vision that um, people are watching. And if I want to have, um, what's the word I'm looking um, influence on people's life. For me, it's leading people to Christ. For you, it might be something different. But if I want to have influence, then I need to be growing, and I need to be growing publicly. And um, and so for me, it was like he hit me with a lightning bolt, gave me that vision, and said, you need to be Royal Crown Diamond. This is why you need to be Royal Crown Diamond. Um, the money is going to allow you to bless so many people. The money is, allow is going to allow you to have big events where you can share um, help people get well, help people find financial freedom, and help people find Jesus, and um, and so much more. But I very clearly said, you've been, I very clearly heard him say, not like in my ear, but in my spirit, um, you've been prepared, now it's time. So I'm ready to hustle, and I want to take as many of you with me on this journey because one of the things that we know, first of all, I love you and I wouldn't want to, like, the money does nothing for me. The rank does nothing for me. Like, I'm not motivated by that, but I am very, very motivated by helping people. Like, that is my passion, is to help people find their passion, to help people find um, their purpose, and to help people dream again the way we dream like we were children. Because I think a lot of times, due to financial challenges and time constraints, we're exchanging time for money, uh, reality hits as adults, and we lose the power to dream the way we dreamed as children. And my dream is to help you 
and people out there in the world to find their purpose, to find their passion, and um, to dream the way they dreamed when they were five years old. And um, so I'm doing this, and I'm going to help as many of you as want to do this. Um, we're going to do this. I plan to fo follow the idea model, and what that means is uh, I'm right now today. I've been sitting down, reflecting, meditating, building. Um, I don't know if you can you see my shirt. Um, I am the CEO of my company. I have been an entrepreneur, and I have been treating this like a business. I have. It's not been a hobby to me. It's been a business, but now I need to treat it like a CEO and sit back, reflect, and strategize, and have a strategy, have a plan, and build a pipeline with the people who are on board. Um, so we are working on that. Um, Travis and I are working on that this week, and challenge you to work on that as you start going through this class and they start teaching you how to do it. Um, I'm using the idea model. It's I is implement. D is dedicate to it fully. For me, I am committing um, uh, right now for 90 days. It's going to be longer. I know that. But um, 90 days, I'm, I'm building this strategy and I'm committing to it for 90 days, um, evaluating how it's working. So when we implement these things, looking regularly, evaluating how it's working, I had a life coach. I did this every Saturday. I listed my great things that I did that week, my challenges that week, what I learned, and how I could tweak that. Uh, what I realized is I have not done that now for two years. I hadn't, haven't had a life coach for years. I haven't done that, and I haven't been the best or most consistent about doing that um, in leading our team either. So um, we're going to work on um, the E evaluating how it's working and a adjusting as needed so that is the model so I would like to get you that mp3 uh, if you um, will watch them and if you will commit to interacting on the page posting video posting things that you learned um, and uh, and whether it's product or business or what you learn from these DVDs, we really want people to know that this is a family, that this is a team, this is more than just Young Living, we're here for each other as people, and we want people to feel that camaraderie, and so, um, and also when you do that, it, it will, easy to learn, um, it's a little more difficult to apply, and when you teach it and when you share, um, it's going to get inside of you more and it'll be easier for you to apply. Lots of key tips that we learned this weekend. Um, lots of things that I will be sharing as I get through my notebook. I literally have an entire notebook full. There's only a few pages empty and it was all from this weekend. Powerful. Um, the last thing I have is I am going to Diamond Bound next year and I don't want to go alone. I want to take as many of you with me as will come. Next year, Diamond Bound is in Nashville, Tennessee, I believe. Um, I don't. I didn't write that down. I, I. It's in Tennessee. I'm almost positive it's in Nashville. October fourth and fifth. Um, she has not yet announced the price. She's going to do that here this week. And for those of us that went to Diamond Bound this year, um, we get a discounted price and we can give that discounted price to 10 people. So for the first 10 people that commit to go to Diamond Bound and get their tickets, um, I will give you my link to get the discounted tickets. It's going to be the lowest price, um, at least that's what she said, the lowest price to those of us that went this year and our 10 people. So um, obviously we want more than 10 people there. But I have links for 10, I will have links for 10 people. So as soon as you know, yes, I'm committed. Yes, I want to go to Diamond Bound yes, next year. Let me know and I will, 
prioritize um, whoever responds first and um, send those links out. Um, please send me the when you are ready to make the purchase because um, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be more than 10 people that want to go. And um, I, I can't afford to pay for 10 people's tickets at that price. So, um, so when you're ready to purchase them, um, let me know. When you're ready, I will send you the link and we will go. Uh, 90 days, lives are going to be changed. Um, big things are going to happen. What I challenge you to do right now, because walk in expectancy. Um, when you hit Royal Crown Diamond, um, I heard over and over from every one of them that when they hit Royal Crown Diamond, it was like, oh, I hit Royal Crown Diamond. You know, like it wasn't what they thought it would be. It's not the rank. It's not the rank. It's the people, the lives that you change along the way. It's the testimonies. So what I challenge you to do from this day forward, I've been doing this. Something happened. Hold on a second. I'm getting a echo. Um, sorry. I accidentally unmuted. Um, hold on one second. Okay. Um, so what I've done and what I've committing, committing to do is I have a warm fuzzy file on my computer. And every time somebody sends me a testimony, I copy and paste it and I put it in that warm fuzzy file. Every time I teach an event and somebody sends me a thank you, um, I haven't done it every time, but the ones that have really juiced me, I put in this warm fuzzy file. So that's one of my challenges to you because it's those stories that are going to keep you going. I know when I wrote Wiggles Away, night after night I sat on my bed in tears, sobbing hysterically, and every ounce of me wanted to quit. And I remembered those families that told me, you gave me your child back. You gave me my child back. You changed his life. Um, those testimonies are what kept me going because I knew that I couldn't give up on those people. And so um, take those testimonies, take, the, take those, um, those stories, even if they're small, even if it's, oh my goodness, I removed um, sticky stuff off of my mirror with lemon, like without chemicals. Like we don't, we're kind of used to that. We don't think that's huge, but out there for people who don't know oils yet, that's huge. Um, so that's just one of the ways to stay motivated. So uh, my phone number, I'll type it here in the messages. This is my personal phone. You might get some emails from me on my um, business number, but this is my personal number. Uh, when you make the commitment and you want the MP3, send me a text and I will send it to you as soon as I have it. They don't have it yet for us. As soon as they have it for us, I will send it to you. And as we're developing leaders, we can share it with them. Jordan, the creator of it, gave us permission to share it with our team. So, um, but again, I ask that for your benefit and for theirs, um, that they also commit to doing it. Because if they just have it, it's nothing. But if we um, show them the value and show them what it will do in their life, um, that's when the magic is going to happen. And uh, I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready. Uh, I'm going into a season of hustle. And um, yeah, I say that word hustle, and right now I am totally juiced. Um, but I'm also on empty. Uh, after sitting in classes all weekend, taking a whole notebook of notes, Sunday, uh, the fire alarm went off in our hotel at 5.15 in the morning, and we got back last night at about midnight. So um, I'm exhausted, but I am ready to make a difference in the lives of the people around us. So. Um, Yes, and I'm excited for you guys, and I'm excited to see you raise, rise in rank, but even more, I'm excited for the lives that you're going to change. So um, send me a text. Know that I am here for you. Never hesitate to reach out to me. And if I don't respond right away, send it again. <laughs> uh, I will do my best. Um, 
I would never intentionally ignore any emails, any texts. Uh, so I never think that I did. If for some reason I don't respond, send it again. Uh, it probably means that it was MIA, missing in action. Um, but uh, let's go out, let's build a pipeline, and let's change the world. You guys have any, uh, I'm gonna stop the recording quick.